Hey everyone, so this is my second Zod tutorial. And as you can see on the Arduino in the bottom right, uh, we're going to start attaching some stuff to the outside of the Arduino, you know, making some connections, rather than just playing with the LED that's built into the Arduino. Uh, what you see here is just a shield, a prototyping shield. And on it is a miniature breadboard. It's got a piezo speaker and a potentiometer. The potentiometer is not hooked up at all yet. Uh, we'll be using that later. But as of right now, the piezo speaker is hooked up through these wires. The black is the going to the ground pin over here. Let me tilt that up so you can see. And then the white is going to pin number two, digital pin two. And that is all we need to do to start off with on uh, the Arduino side of things. So f now let's go ahead and take a look at Zod and see what we need to do to get something to come out of it. To start off with, we are going to drag in an LED node. Um, this is obviously not the ideal node to use, uh, but it's the best node I could find in here that would work. Uh, there's not necessarily a just a direct digital output to a pin, um, but the LED is essentially that. I mean, it, it, you can you could change the range on the lumens, but we're not going to be doing that. It's just we're just going to be kicking off a one or zero on this piezo. So we're just going to use the LED because that'll work perfectly for now. Now the piezo is currently hooked up to pin 2. So we need to change this here to pin 2. So that way it'll output to it. Now we are going to use a square wave to output. Because that'll give us a 1 or 0 over and over and over and over. Now, let's go ahead and we'll just keep the default values for now. We'll put it right in here and we'll go ahead and send it to the Arduino and see what it does. Now this should, because it's uh, a really slow time, all you should hear is some clicks out of it. once it finishes uploading. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. I'm gonna hold this up to the microphone to see if you can hear it better that way. Okay, so that is the piezo clicking every half second. Um, that is obviously not really a tone, it's just a, a, a click. So let's change these values up a little bit to get an actual tone out of it. We're going to change that to point zero 0.01 and change this to point zero 0.01. Now, uh, don't be surprised. Uh, if I cut out the future uploads to the Arduino just because of how long it actually takes. Um, on my last video, one of the Zod devs had commented on there and said that he was not at all sure why it has taken as long as it has to actually upload something to the Arduino. Um, I was hoping with, the, with these recent updates where it'd give us uh, like the deployment bar here uh, and some notes on the upload that it would give me more information as to why it's taking so long, but um, still don't know as of yet. Now, also, this sound may get very annoying at some point, so I may just unhook it uh, whenever we're trying to work on it further. Now, let's listen to this. I'll put this up to the microphone. That's it pulsing every or a hundred times a second. So that's what we got when we set it to point zero one. Now let's point it at point zero zero one and see what that sounds like. Okay, now I'm I'm not sure I have to hold it up to the microphone for you to hear it, but that is at a thousand um, pulses a second. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and unplug that for now, just so we don't have to l listen to it. And what we want to do now is hook up this potentiometer to the Arduino. That way we can uh, adjust the tone that is going into the, uh, the piezo buzzer. So give me a second. Let's get this hooked up. We're going to hook up one arm to the ground. We're going to hook up the other arm to 5 volts. And we're going to hook up the third leg to, let's say, analog one. So that way we got this wire over here hooked up to ground, this one hooked up to positive, and then this one in the back hooked up to analog zero, or I'm sorry, analog one. Um, so the next thing we need to add into here is a potentiometer node. Now what this potentiometer node does is maps the potentiometer output to a one or a zero. So we're gonna hook the output to the potentiometer to both the time and duty because we want the pulse to the pulse itself and the time in between pulses to be the same uh, we need to change the port here the pin for the potentiometer we put that on analog one so we're gonna put one in here and that's really all we should have to do to get this potentiometer working with this um, I'll also have to plug this back in as well uh, but let's upload this first. Okay, so it is done. Now, I'm going to move the microphone down closer. Maybe we can hear it better that way. We should be able to adjust this and adjust the tone. Now, you can hear that there's it's not a very smooth change between the tones. I'm not sure how well you're hearing this. Let me put the microphone a little bit closer. Now, bec the reason why it sounds like that and then immediately jumps up like that is because this potentiometer output is being mapped to a zero to one um, ratio. So that means that um, a good majority of the potentiometer output is just gonna sound like pulses. It isn't until you get several hundred pulses a, a second before it actually starts to sound like a tone rather than a bunch of clicks. So what we need to do is we need to map the zero to one output of this potentiometer to something a little bit more tone-like, say 0 to 0.01. So to do that, we need to come back here to the core nodes and then map range. So the uh, S max and S min is going to be the minimum and maximum of your source. 
and then the T-min and T-max is your target. So the minimum we're going to get out of the potentiometer is going to be zero, and the max that we will get is one. Now the minimum we want coming out is zero, and the max that we want is 0 0.01. Now that'll still sound rather clicky, but um, it'll be much better than what we have here. So we were going to delete the links here. And then connect this map range as such. So now whenever we change the potentiometer, at its minimum it'll put out zero, at its max it's going to put out one. And then it's going to code to this map range. This map range is going to convert that 0 to 1 range to a 0 to 0 0.01 range, and then output it to the square wave. And then that square wave gets output to the piezo. So let's upload this and see how it works. Okay, now that it's uploaded, let's change this. And as you can hear, it is a much more gradual change. And there's a, lo there's a lower limit to it now as well. Uh, that 0 0.01, that is the 100 clicks a second. Um, like, as you can tell, it still kind of sounds kind of clicky. Um, but it doesn't take much to go up in tone. Okay, so that is it for our second tutorial. Um, on the next one, we're going to start uh, making things a little bit more complicated and uh, including some hardware that is listed in our libraries. Um, until next time.